Okay, let's get to the main story. The Democrats have their first scalp. Former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort has been indicted on completely unrelated charges. Uh, they also got Manafort's right-hand man, Rick Gates, and they've apparently also reached a plea deal with former campaign advisor George Papadopoulos, not to be confused with George Succolopagus, who is the former Clinton war room Clinton spokesman who pretends to be a journalist on television. This is George Papadopoulos. Nobody, it seems, has yet pointed out that the indictment almost certainly inculpates top Democrats, including Hillary's campaign chairman, John Podesta's brother, Tony. For context, Hillary Clinton was spotted hobnobbing with Tony Podesta just this weekend, just like two days ago. Right now, in so much as this indictment suggests that the Republicans colluded with Russia, whatever that means, we know that the Democrats colluded with Russia at least as much. And really, from all the evidence available to us, the Democrats committed far graver misdeeds in colluding with Russia because we now know that Hillary Clinton and the DNC paid a foreigner connected with Russia for alleged dirt on Donald Trump to skew an American election. You know, like like the thing that they've been accusing us of for the last year incessantly. But yeah, they did. We have evidence that they did all of that. She then lied not only about the $12 million price tag for that uh, document, but she also absurdly denied any knowledge of it whatsoever. The president's reaction was typically Trumpian. He said, Sorry, but this is years ago, before Paul Manafort was part of the Trump campaign, but why aren't crooked Hillary and the Dems the focus? With five or five question marks. He goes on, also, there is no collusion, in all caps and all, you know, exclamation point. Now, it is worth noting, it appears that President Trump has deleted every tweet about Manafort from his timeline, so the White House is not happy about this, to say the least. Former Trump campaign advisor George Papadopoulos is cooperating with the special counsel, and he apparently tried to set up a meeting with Russian officials for the purpose of warmer American relations with Russia. You know, to, to have a Russian reset or something. In order to, and th these are his words, increase his importance as a policy advisor to the campaign. So we know that some campaign aid was offered dirt on Hillary. He apparently tried to get his hands on it. So what? That doesn't, who, we, we know the Democrats did this. We know they paid millions of dollars for this. And I won't even knock them for it. I will not knock Hillary Clinton for her oppo research per se. I will knock her for the ridiculous hypocrisy of accusing your opponents of doing the very things that you do. But every campaign does this. Every campaign tries to get oppo. They try to get dirt on their opponents. That isn't why Papadopoulos struck a plea deal. The crime that he committed was lying to the FBI. This is always a bad idea. Do not lie to the FBI. You, they will find you. Uh, and, but the focus on Papadopoulos is a distraction away from Manafort and the Podesta group and why this case wasn't prosecuted for so long. We're not talking about crimes that happened six months ago. We're talking about crimes that happened five years ago. So why wasn't it prosecuted? The federal government had all of this information before the election. Why is it being prosecuted now? The text of the indictment points to our answer. It reads, quote, as part of the scheme in February 2012, Manafort and Gates solicited two Washington, D.C. firms, Company A and Company B, to lobby in the United States on behalf of Yanukovych, the party of regions and the government of Ukraine. For instance, Gates wrote to Company A that it would be, quote, representing the government of Ukraine in Washington, D.C. I know what you're thinking. Who exactly are these elusive companies A and B? The indictment goes on. Quote, to minimize public disclosure of their lobbying campaign, Manafort and Gates arranged for the Center for a Modern Ukraine to be the nominal client of Company A and B, even though in fact the center was under ultimate direction of the government of Ukraine, uh, Yanukovych, and the Party of Regions, tied to Russia. It goes on, at the direction of Manafort and Gates, Company A and Company B engaged in extensive lobbying. Who are they, Company A and B? Well, we know that five days ago, NBC News reported that Mueller is investigating Democrat lobbyist Tony Podesta. The reason that name rings a bell is he's the brother of Hillary's campaign chairman, John Podesta. Now, this report went on and showed that Manafort had organized a PR campaign for this front group, the European Center for Modern Ukraine. Podesta's company was one of the firms that worked on the campaign. The Podesta group also violated the Foreign Agents Registration Act because it only filed as a foreign agent when it was exposed that they hadn't. So they got caught and then retroactively they, they registered as one. 
Just this afternoon, this broke about an hour ago, Tony Podesta stepped down from the Podesta group amid the investigation. All of the available evidence points to the indictment inculpating not only a major Democrat firm for undisclosed lobbying on behalf of Russian interests, not only a major Clinton crony, but actually the brother of Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman. We're talking about lobbying efforts that took place between 2012 and 2014. That's at least three years ago. That's up to five years ago. What took so long for the prosecution? Well, I don't know. What do we know about Barack Obama's executive agencies during that time? We know they were highly politicized. We know they selectively prosecuted perceived enemies like Dinesh D'Souza. They targeted conservative Tea Party groups through the IRS. We know they ignored major scandals like Fast and Furious, Hillary Clinton's email scandal, on and on and on. Is it possible that the Obama administration didn't prosecute this case for years because it would have implicated top Hillary cronies in the run-up to her presidential run? The timing sure does make you wonder.